Today we are going to talk about uh, two important operators, uh, Dell operator and a Laplacian operator. Dell operator and Laplacian operator. Laplacian operator. Laplacian operator. Okay, so these are very important operators in quantum mechanics. So let us talk about these operators. First of all, let us talk about the Dell operator. Dell operator. This Dell operator is uh, represented by this symbol. Okay, this is a symbol for Dell operator. And it is defined as I dou by dou x plus j dou by dou y plus k dou by dou z. I will explain what are these terms. I, J, I, J and K. I, J and K. These are the unit vectors. Unit vectors in X, Y and Z directions. Okay. These are the unit vectors in X, Y and Z directions. And uh, dou by dou x, dou by dou y and uh, dou by dou z. You already know this. These are the symbols for the partial derivation, partial differentiation uh, with respect to x, y and uh, z. Okay. First order partial differentiation with respect to x, y and z. Okay. So this is del operator. And uh, um, when this del operator operates on some function or acts on some function, uh, means if we are checking what is uh, del f, then del f is i dou f by dou x, okay, plus j dou f by dou y plus k dou f by dou is such, okay, that is. Uh, uh, del f and uh, <coughs> we can we can check um, with a, a, some function some very simple function what is uh, del f let us take the function f is equal to uh, x square x square plus 2y cube plus 3 is and rise to 4 let us take this function and then we can calculate the del f then you will understand uh, how this operator works okay so del f is equal to i into dou by dou x okay dou by dou x of f f is equal to x square plus 2y cube plus 3 is raised to 4 plus j the unit vector in the x y direction uh, multiplied by dou by uh, dou y dou by dou y of the function that is uh, x square plus 2y cube plus 3 z raised to 4 plus k that is a unit vector in the z direction then dou by dou z of x square plus 2y cube 2y cube plus 3 z raised to 4 okay that is delta so let us let us uh, um, see what is the result that is i okay dou by dou x of this function okay this is a function of three terms or three terms of uh, uh, the first term is of x the second term is of y and the third term is of z and you know that this is a partial differentiation sign right so when we are doing the partial differentiation with respect to x we, it will act only on the first component because the other component doesn't have the x terms inside so the other other term doesn't have the x in it right therefore the, the when dou by dou x acts on this 2y cube and a 3 z raised to 4 the result will be zero so it will act only on x square so i dou by dou x of x square that is the first uh, derivative of x square that is equal to 2x plus now j j dou by dou y of this function here the partial differentiation is with respect to y so it will act only on this term so the answer is j j 
2 into 3 into y, right? That is equal to 6 uh, y square, okay? 6 y square plus k, okay? That is the third term, dou by dou is it? So, it will act only here. So, that is equal to 12 is a cube. So, the result is i 2x plus j 6y square plus k 12 is at the cube. Now you can check uh, check at this uh, ch ch check with this uh, this uh, result. The, the function was x square plus 2 y cube plus 3 is at raised to 4. This was a scalar function, right? Scalar. It is not a vector. So, but after this function is acted by the del operator or operated by the del operator, the, the result what you are getting here is a vector, right? i 2x plus j 6y square plus k 12 is a cube is a vector because it contains the uh, contains i, j and k which are the unique vectors in the x, y and z. So, you have to understand that uh, the del is a vector operator in the sense that when it acts on when it is applied to a scalar function or when it acts on a scalar function it transforms that scalar function into its first derivative okay and which is a vector it transforms that scalar function into its first derivative or gradient <coughs> which is a scalar function. So, del is a vector operator. Now, I hope you understood uh, what is del and uh, this is enough for our uh, understanding or this is enough for the purpose of uh, studying uh, quantum mechanics for the, this semester. And we are now moving to the next two operator that is del square or Laplace in operator, that Laplace in operator. So, we will see what is called a Laplacian operator, Laplacian, Laplacian operator, Laplacian operator. And the Laplacian operator is uh, um, defined as del square, okay, or in precise terms, it is del dot del, okay. You already know that del is a vector operator. So, we are taking the dot product of del, okay, del and del. So, that is equal to i dou by dou x, okay, plus j, j, dou by dou y, plus k, dou by dou z, that is del, dot, dot, i, dou by dou x, plus j, dou by dou y, plus k, dou by dou z, okay. So, we are taking the dot product of this. Um, at this moment, I have it to make you familiar. You already know, uh, but I just want to remind you about the dot products of these unique vectors. And what is dot product? You have two vectors, A and B, okay? And if you are taking the dot product of these A and B, the result is um, A, A, B, A, B, cos theta, a b cos theta. What is this a and what is this b, uh, which is put under two parallel lines, okay. This represents the modulus of a vector and this represents the modulus of b vector, okay. So, a dot b is a b cos theta and therefore, uh, we can see what is i dot i, i dot i, i is a unique vector in the x direction. So, i dot i is equal to, what is the modulus of the i vector? It is a unique vector. It means its modulus is 1 or its quantity is 1. Its measure is 1 into 1 into cos theta. What is the theta here? Uh, this we are considering two i vectors. Means we are considering the vectors in the x direction solely. Means both these i vectors are parallel vectors. Since they are parallel, the angle between them is 0. So, we can write cos 0. So, what is this? 1 into 1 that is equal to 1 into cos 0 is equal to 1. So, ultimately you get 1. So, i dot i is equal to 1. i dot i is equal to 1. And if you are considering the same way um, j dot j and z dot z, uh, k dot k, then you will get 1 itself. 
so you can write i dot i is equal to j dot j i dot i is equal to j dot j is equal to k dot k right so all these is these are equal to uh, unit okay but what about i dot j i dot j i dot j okay if you are considering i dot j then it is 1 into 1 because both are unique vectors but the i is a unique vector in the x direction and the j is a unique vector in the y direction so what is the angle between the x and y direction that is 90 degree right so you have to write cos 90 so that is equal to 1 into cos 90 that is equal to uh, 0 so this is equal to 0 so i dot j is 0 in the similar way j dot k is 0 or i dot k is 0 so if you are taking any of these kinds of products then dot products then you will get a 0 as the result so i dot j is equal to j dot k is equal to k dot i okay all these are equal to zero okay so you have to keep this in mind when we are uh, uh, when we are proceeding with this uh, equation further so here we have i do by do x plus j do by do y plus k do by do z if this is uh, it is dotted with or we are taking the dot product of this with the same um, same uh, uh, i dot by dot x plus j dot by dot y plus k dot by dot x or same operator okay so when we are doing this what we have to do in the, 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 the we have to do a linear operation like this yeah? means we have to take the first term and multiply with the, all these here in the second bracket second term multiplied multiplied means dot product with the, all the terms here and the third term and dotted with all the terms here so you will get the product there but we can consider like that we will take i do by do x then it is dotted with i do by do x what you will get i dot i that is equal to 1 and do by do x of do by do x that is equal to do square by do x square do square by do x square plus when you are taking this one i do by do x with this one j do by do y there is a problem because i dot j is equal to 0 so this the, this when this is dotted with this one then that will become 0 and when this is dotted with the third term that will also become 0 because i dot k is 0 so only this term will exist and when we, in, we are moving to the next one j dou by dou y into uh, or dot product of uh, dot product of that with the, all these terms so the first one will be zero because j dot i is equal to zero the only one existing is j dot j so j dot j is equal to one and therefore dou by dou y of dou by dou y is equal to dou square by dou y square and the other term will be zero because j dot k is equal to zero in the same way you can see that you from here you will get only uh, dou square by dou e sub square so when you are taking del dot del or del square you get dou square by dou i square plus dou square by dou i square plus dou square by dou i sub square and this del square is known as laplacian operator laplacian operator okay i hope you understood what is the Laplacian operator and uh, unlike in the case of del you can see that there is no unit vectors here in del square okay so in other words it is not a vector operator uh, but del was a vector operator okay when it is acting on some function it gives a, a vector function right even if it is acting on a scalar function the result will be a vector and uh, here del square doesn't contain such uh, unique vectors and when it is acting on a scalar function you will get only really scalar function only okay so we can see how the del square acts on some function we can consider the same function the function is f is equal to x square plus 2y cube plus 
is a dry stroke form. Okay, so when we are considering del square f, del square f, we have to consider how we did how we are defining del square f dou square f by dou x square plus dou square f by dou y square plus dou square f by dou z square that is del square f. So that is equal to dou square f by dou x square means dou square by dou x square of the function. What is that function? x square plus 2 y cube plus 3 is a rise to 4 plus dou square by dou y square of the function that is x square plus 2 y cube plus 3 is a rise to 4 plus dou square by dou square by dou is a square of s square plus 2y cube plus 3 is a price to 4. Okay. And you know this already how to do this, the partial differentiation. You know that this is a partial differentiation with respect to s, x. So it will act only on the x terms. Okay. And other terms when it is acting, the result will be 0. So here it is dou square by dou x square of uh, x square because other terms doesn't contain x plus dou square by dou y square of uh, 2y cube plus dou square of dou square by dou is at square of 3 is at rise to 4. Okay, So that is equal to dou square by dou x square of x square that is second derivative of x square. It means that dou by dou x of the first derivative of x square. First derivative of x square is equal to 2x plus dou by dou y of first derivative of 2y cube that is equal to 6y square plus dou by dou z of the first derivative of 3 is at raised to 4 that is equal to 12 is at the cube right and that is equal to uh, dou by dou x of x that is equal to uh, I, I, that is equal to 2 2x dou by dou x of 2x that is equal to 2x plus um, dou by dou y of uh, 6y square that is equal to uh, 12y plus and dou by dou is at of uh, 12, 12 is at the cube that is equal to 36 is at square right so you have a result 2 plus 12y plus 36 is at square so this is a scalar quantity right so del square acted upon a scalar quantity and you got a scalar quantity only okay so this is del square now you understood what is meant by del operator and uh, del square or laplacian operator and you know how to use these uh, operators over some function okay and this is very important in quantum mechanics and you will see why this is very important in quantum mechanics when we are dealing with the, the quantum mechanical systems or when we are using the schrodinger wave equation for the microscopic uh, systems okay so um, if you have any doubts you don't please don't hesitate to ask me and uh, I am always available here to answer you and um, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned